I've never played the Pokemon Go app, but my brother is obsessed with it, so I figured since this is a popular thing right now, and I did like Pokemon when I was younger, I remember playing it all the time on my little Game Boy DS thing. Was it a DS? It was the one that flipped. I don't, it's not a DS. I don't know what it's called, but the flippy one. It was silver. That's all I know. It's Jay and today I'm here with the Pokemon book tag. I originally saw this from Megan Precourt but it was actually created by a blog called Red at Midnight so I'll leave both their links down below if you want to check out the video and the blog post. So without further ado, let us get started! The first question is starters and this is the book that started your love for reading. And I am going with the Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison. There was probably books before this that I read and loved, but this is the one that I remember the most being like, I love these books. I read the whole series. I read my cousin's books of them. So this is the 10th book, and I don't have any of the other ones but the 10th book. Why? I don't know. I just don't. But I very much enjoyed these books, and if you have the chance to read them, read them because they're hilarious. The next Pokemon is Pikachu, and it is an iconic classic that you'll always love. And I am going with Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. I absolutely love Winnie the Pooh. And obviously this is a classic and I grew up with it and just holds a special place in my heart. The next Pokemon is Zubat and it is a book that you lost interest in because it is literally everywhere. And I'm going with Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Please don't hate me. I'm going to read it eventually but I just don't have an interest in it right now because everybody is raving about it. As always, I understand that everybody loves it. But I know the story, so I just I feel like I should read something that I don't know the story of. So one day I will read this, just not today. Not today. The next Pokemon is Ditto, and it is a book that reminds you of other tropes, but you still love anyways. And I'm going with Divergent by Veronica Roth. So many books are like this book. Like, honestly, I thought The Hunger Games and this book were very similar. There's a lot of popular action tropes in this book, but honestly, I love it. So I don't even care. The next Pokemon is Snorlax. I love Snorlax. I relate to him so much. Like, sleep every day, everywhere. And it is a book or series that you have put off starting because of its sheer size. And I'm going with the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. I know. I need to read these. I've had them for, like, two years now, and everybody says how amazing they are. And I know I need to read them. I will eventually. Just, there's, like, five books, guys. There's five of them, and they're all pretty big. So, your girl hates big books, so it's gonna take some time to get into it. But eventually I will. One day. One day it will happen. The next Pokemon is Gengar, and it is a book that kept you up at night. And I'm going with the Selection series by Kira Cass. These books are absolute trash. But I could not stop reading them. It's like The Bachelorette in book format, and I just needed to know what happened, and I couldn't put them down, so I stayed up far too late every night, and I marathoned the series. And I have no regrets. The next Pokemon are Nido King and Queen, and it is your favorite OTP, and this is super creepy. I've talked about it before, but Gemma and Ty from Stolen by Lucy Christopher. If you've read the book, I know this is super creepy, but I ship them so hard, and I don't even care, because I need them to be together. Okay? I just do. The next Pokemon is Rapidash, and it is a fire-hot, fast-paced read, and I'm going with Chris by Marissa Meyer. I love this book. I read it so quickly. I'm obsessed with this series. I don't know why I put off reading it for so long. I still haven't read Winter, but I'm going to eventually, I promise. So good. Five of five stars. Would recommend. And also Captain Thorn is big. The next Pokemon is Eevee, and it is a series that you will never be tired of seeing spin-offs of, and I am going with The Immortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I, I recently read this, like last month, and I am obsessed with them. I'm just on Clockwork Prince for the Infernal Devices trilogy, and honestly obsessed, I need more, I need to read Lady Midnight too because I just need to know everything that happens in this world. The next Pokemon is Magikarp, and it is a book series that was surprisingly awesome, and I am going with The Novice and The Inquisition by Taran Matharu. I did not expect to like these books as much as I did. Their book is coming out next year, I think, so I'm super excited. <laughs> the next Pokemon are Legendary, and it is a book that is overhyped, but you're still excited to read. And I am going with Winter by Marissa Meyer. So many people have said that this book is amazing, and honestly, I cannot wait to get into it. I mean, like, it's 800 pages, so I'm kind of terrified of it. I just want to read everything by Marissa Meyer. I love her. I love her a lot. The next Pokemon are Mew and Mewtwo, and it is a book that has a collector's edition that you wish you owned. And honestly, I have no idea if this has a collector's edition, but I would love to have a copy of it because it has so many memories for me. And it is Naughty Goes to Toyland. Not even going to try to say the author's name because I can't do it. But I read these as a child with my mom, and I just think that having a collector's edition of this would be super awesome because of all the memories that I have. So, yes, that's my answer. 
The next Pokemon is a Poke Egg, and it is a debut novel that you're very excited for. This book has been out for a while, but I honestly love it so much, and I'm still super excited about it, and it is Daddy by PJ Ferguson. I have recommended this book so many times to people. I don't think anybody has actually picked it up, but this book blew my mind. It's PJ's debut novel. It doesn't feel like a debut novel at all. It's like a thrilling suspense crime thing and just honestly read it. It's so good. The next thing is a lure module and it is an auto buy author for you and I'm going with Sarah Dessen. I recently read my first Sarah Dessen book which was that summer and I didn't really like it that much so I don't know why I always buy Sarah Dessen books. I just every time I see it I'm like I need it even though I don't really enjoy her writing from the one book that I read so the logic of JN doesn't make sense but we all know this by now. And the final thing is when the servers are down and it is a book release that you've been waiting forever for and it is the sequel to The Magician by D.A. Poopa. I don't know when it's supposed to come out but I need it in my life. I need it so badly because I'm going to be a character in it and I'm way too excited to see how I die. That is all. So I need it in my life. Don't know when it's being released, but I want it. Alright guys, so that was the Pokemon book tag. I tag every single one of you. And if you play the game, let me know if I should download it or not because I still can't decide. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! What is English?